In Greenbrier County, approximately 300 homes were completely destroyed in the 2016 floods. Musician and pastor John Wyatt was one of those who escaped the floodwaters but lost everything. Muddy water, muddy water, muddy Sadly, many died and ran out on June 23rd. Many of them were John's friends and neighbors. John's just completed renovations on his home in Raynell, which has taken months to rebuild. As time goes on, we're struggling to get through the after effects of what took place during the flood. You were filming me then, and, and I was talking about how I could hear those cries of the people in the dark. And for weeks and weeks, you know, that was something that I wake in the middle of the night, and I would, I would think about that. This past year, he's been so busy working on his home and volunteering to help other people. He hasn't had a lot of energy to do the things he used to do, like play music or sit on his back porch and relax over a cup of coffee. John isn't the only one who's trying to get back to normal. Over 120 homeowners in Raynell have applied to FEMA for help demolishing their damaged homes. That's a huge loss for a community with just under 1,500 people. Raynell was struggling economically before the flood. With the decline in the timber industry, most jobs here have disappeared over John's lifetime. But there's a positive change in the air too. Thousands of volunteers have poured into Raynell this past year, most of them from out of state. That spirit of volunteering that people have brought into our community, I think that's helped us too because it's reinvigorated people themselves to get back into doing something that helps others and that's benefit to others and they brought hope to people again. You can hear this story and more on the Inside Appalachia podcast.